All right, that is the LA County Board of Supervisors building. <laughs> uh, talk about worship. And here we are. I think this, or is it over there? I think that is the what, Dorothy Chandler Music Pavilion. Uh, so long that I've been here. Let us, well, no, let's keep walking this way. That is Grand Park. A lot of uh, outdoor activities. Not as much as it used to be, but a lot over there. Oh, thank God for the escalators. Magical, aren't they? Okay, at night, this place has a, a Disney-esque thing about it. Oh, great. I'm going to get dinged. Oh, well. Oh, I'm sure there's a lot of kids that like to play in here during the summer. I want to play in there. Look at that. Can't even imagine the, uh, how much it costs. Ooh. The old Dorothy Chandler Pavilion is up over there. We've truly lost the meaning of that. Sorry, I was just I was just talking to a gentleman over here, homeless gentleman. It's been a good 20 minutes talking with him. Giving them the lowdown and <clears throat> uh, homeless channel and uh, some information on Facebook. It, it sucks. Anyway, this is the Dorothy Chandler Pavilion. Let, let's go look inside. Well, I'm not going to go inside, but let me show you. A lot of good shows in there. Opera and concerts and cool venues of such that is is that the water yeah that is the, the water oh see the water is not even running there is the the Disney hall music jingamabob it's kind of cool it looks better definitely in the uh, in the Sun I can't believe they finished that. Ooh, those are like uh, during the shutdown. Uh, I had come down here. So you don't got it. I don't even remember when, but uh, I had come down here and they were, that thing was still in progress of being built. That's the one that'll. Eh, tell them that Charlie Salinas, you know, and yeah, and yeah, you know, it's we help out each other. So that's the ticket. Reggie. All right. The Walt Disney Concert Hall. It's kind of cool. They have like a little garden thingy me job over here. Oh, more stairs.
Sonia, she's checking up on me. Now, this is not as iridescent as when you go by the Disney offices by Disneyland. But it is something to see. Ooh, ghosty as you drive by on a sunny day. I mean, it's definitely a lot more. The jungle, the real jungle. And the place of tranquility in the middle of the jungle. There's a lot of hummingbirds and finches over here. Dorothy Chandler and DWP. That was Reggie. <clears throat> You know, I always try to make time, huh, purposely I always make time to talk to homeless folks. And when I see one, um, you know, it's so lonely and depressing out here. Sometimes they just, homeless folks just want to talk to someone normal other than another homeless person because they have a little bit more of a sane thinking and we can... talk to them, look for more of a therapy type of thing, you know, in a normal person. Because when you're talking to another homeless person, usually it's just crazy, speaking to crazy, and we just don't make sense. And sometimes we anger each other and infuriate, and we just do stupid crap. So when I see a homeless person, or like him, he, you know, he, he approached me and he asked me a couple of questions, and from there it just... It was from, from over there, you know, over here to the concert hall. And, uh, yeah, you know, it's just, it's not so much as attention, it's just wanting to talk, you know, and get some sort of feedback, decent, sane feedback. Although I'm not that sane, but, you know, that's just, I wish I had a, at least a couple of dollars to give him or something, you know, even though he didn't ask for it. But I just gave him some information to uh, our support group on Facebook and to Mark's channel. So, you know, and because you know, I told him, you know, I was on YouTube and, and sometimes when I tell folks that other homeless people, they're like, well, so I quickly called up uh, Mark's channel and showed him the ep episodes that I was on. I go, yeah, I'm not, I'm not lying. Just. Look, I was there, you know, I I was out here on the sidewalks too, you know, sleeping, so just hope and pray, you know. craft services they're doing some filming over here Let's see the trailers over there and as I said you know a lot of water those are turned off fountains <laughs> the rooftop of the parking was a fountain strength and water 
because water is a life-giving force and if man can control water <laughs> we can control life right We had more fountains over there. A little bit of snow up over there. Making its turnaround approach for the LAX. Just picture this filled with water and the fountains, both here and in back of me. Now this was, you know, I just, I only remember coming here a couple of times as a kid, but uh, just imagine seeing all the water here and the sound of it falling. You know, I'm going to be 56 in a, another month and a half. So much has changed around here. But, you know, it's just all so vivid. Like, you know, just that never existed. All these living houses, uh, condos and apartments. All this was never, never there, you know. Well, that building was there. But, you know, that was still just hillside and mountainside. And then, right there, my friends. That there. That's Dodger Stadium, right up there. Come on, baby. Focus. I focus. That's Dodger Stadium. This area is dried up. So much like our 
social society here in California. It's sad. To me, it's sad. This was such a vibrant and bustling city. Metropolis. There's the layout of the inside. I like the crunchy, <laughs> it reminds me of snow. That there, over there, is the broad. Not a broad, the broad. Superior Court. Mosaic Law. Magna Carta. <laughs> and Declaration of Independence. <laughs> 